So you guys enjoy when I sit down and just design from point A to point B, but what if I now take your products and redesign them? You guys get to see like, just, you know, what, what could I do? Do I make it better? Do I make it worse? Do you learn something? Did you waste all that time? So if you want to enjoy something like that, let's just sit back, relax, and uh, watch some magic possibly happen, possibly. If it sucks, I'm sorry. But just before we start, by the way, don't forget to check out the first link in the description down below to check out my everything pack, 26 custom-made products made just for you guys as designers and artists. The cool part is, of course, we have an awesome Discord community. You guys can also just check out, vibe with, learn from, and, and just like get some critiques, all that good stuff. But it is just a single purchase, and for the rest of your entire life, you will get any product that I release free no matter what the price is email directly to you guys join the other 7100 and something something plus people and i hope you enjoy it all right so let's hop in this first poster by ann kit with his prevail it seems like a really cool like i don't know this player's personal name however this looks got like player portrait with like this really cool setting of like uh just darkness however we do have these really dope floating rocks and just like a really just honestly this this is already really good I kind of wanted to jump in and just see what I can do to kind of help kind of fix these little little mistakes. I would say like these little out ring right here, right? Kind of making sure that rock feels nice and like HD and quality and kind of bringing out some of the assets from the background to the foreground. And like, if you just kind of quickly look over here, if I got rid of a lot of this stuff down here, right? Got rid of some of the color correction, got rid of some of the motion blur. The next thing we run into is this really cool background. He set himself up really, really, really well. I thought this was like a really dope kind of asset creation. We do a little bit of color correcting, a little bit of toning, and I feel like we're good. Let's hop into it. Okay, so starting from basically where he got his composition, this is where I'm gonna start. Now, the first thing, of course, that I noticed is that I uh, the color of these rocks are very different. So I wanna, of course, improve that first. Now, of course, he also kind of had this rock like erased. I would, I'm gonna choose to pen tool it out actually, but kind of keep that same shape that he had going down here. It's like kind of a horizon line kind of approach, but it got a little bit cloudy here and now I understand why, but I'm just gonna use a pen tool to kind of make my own rocks and see how that goes. But besides that, these rocks do have like a bluish tone. I might kind of get rid of that a little bit and let's just, let's just start. Let's just, you know, what's better than just starting. So I'm gonna just come over here, get nice and close and make some pretty obvious straight edge lines. But who's to say this rock just isn't perfect. You know what I mean? Like come over here, come around here, boom. And then it stops right here. And then all of this we're gonna cut out, right? And then if I go like that, you know, ooh. Okay, wait, okay. So it's not perfect, but not all rocks are created evenly. And then I also saw when I moved this uh, sky image up, there was this really cool like horizon line thing going on down here. Like, I don't know if it'll make sense for that, but I do enjoy like the fade of color back here. Like it's obviously a different color, but the fade of color back there felt pretty good. Okay, let's see if I were to take this now rock and I'm gonna select this pixel over here, go to select, modify. I'm gonna contract by what? Three, four, three. I'm gonna go to three. Then I'm gonna right click with the M tool and do a nice layer via cut. And then the bottom will be what I erase. And I get rid of that annoying white line, but of course I do get the fact that this picture, since it wasn't the best, I might have to go back into it with an eraser and kind of just make my own rocks. And the way I would pretty much do that is just like hold shift and click and basically make some hard edges all the way around. That way I'm not finding myself in any like predicament. The question is, is the code that he went for for his ending is like more of this like a uh, heelish kind of tone, which I might have to switch like all the rocks to kind of match this back color over here. Oh, he already kind of did some color correction to it. There's a hue and saturation down here. Oh, uh, that looks kind of sick though, no? I know it's not exactly what he went for, but I'm gonna go into this then. I'm gonna try to figure out if I can find like a nice tone that's fairly close. This is this is the tealish kind of tone I got. Now it's it's not exactly close, but I, I want, you know, I think it's decent. Let's, let's run with this for now. We wanna match these rocks to this background. So I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna go over here to where it says this little uh, adjustments tab here, go to the curves. We're gonna make sure we clip mask this to that. And then we're gonna click on this actual little uh, thumbnail here, hold alt on our keyboard, click on options or auto, excuse me, go to find lights and darks, click on the shadow and choose the darkest color inside of this cloudiness. I might make it a little bit darker just for the sake of it. Press okay, so it's gonna have this nice bluish hue on it. And then for the highlights, I'm gonna take the basically the, the brightest tone color and I'm gonna take this and move my color picker up just until I can find a spot that kind of matches. Now, now that I think about it though, do I wanna match it? Like if I went one like something like this, always press no by the way for this, but if I went something like this, 
Right, and if I go back to his, he kind of, it's kind of feeling like it's in this whole universe thing. I want to kind of add some separation. That's my plan for this redesign. So what if I said, I'm going to choose to actually match these two uh, colors in the front instead, like something like this. That's kind of matching. Press OK, press no, lower this down, bring this up. And it's kind of feeling good. Now, although I do like this, I did recently do a design that had to do with some rocks. So I was thinking, are these rocks it? And I'm gonna, I might say no. So I got these rocks over here. I'm gonna just basically take some of these or one of these at a time. And all in all, all I'm doing is basically rebuilding what you did and kind of where you put it. Now, the last thing of course, is this background here, like this like floor lining. Let's see if I do the same thing. What does it get me? And it gets me here. If I go back to his poster, they're kind of already the same color. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much trying to achieve what he didn't get into like the, the color correction part because what that allows us to do is actually take this composition with the colors already matched and do more lighting effects that make more sense and then enhance it basically with the color correction so in theory that's what i'm thinking but in, in reality am i going to be able to do it successfully we'll see i'm going to make another new layer just like so and i'm going to take a nice dark color and somehow see if i took a like a brush and went over these edges over here and kind of just added this feathering behind it. Could I actually add some depth somehow? It's feeling okay. At least the way I can start from here is I'll do some color correction on the person. We're gonna add a bunch of texture, a bunch of sharpen, a little bit of noise reduction. We're gonna add a little bit of darkness to this as well to kind of hide some of the detail. We'll increase the lights just a bit. And he's looking pretty good. Or not, it's nothing too crazy when I go over here though. Add the same color raw filter to this one. And he's looking pretty good there. I'm okay with this contrast. Good thing we're, we're, in a, we're in a good spot. Now, I'm not entirely in love with like the saturation of my blue. So I'm gonna go back into this, go back into the color mixer, go back into saturation, just kind of lower this down till I find something that's just more closer to what we had. So at this point, I think if I go back and forth, all I'm missing is like some lighting and some like tech, uh, typography to help carry this thing as well. But if I just kind of type in the same thing, prevail, he used this like pretty cool, like modern-esque typeface. I don't really have that typeface, but I'll use like Clash or something. I'll go with Quanta. This is looking pretty good in that regard. I'm also gonna grab this logo over here and kind of put this over here too. That color scheme, that golden bluish tone looks kind of sick. Ooh. What if we actually use this color as like the accent color? I, that could be fire. Let's just go ahead and take this color. Okay, we're gonna go below this photo here and we're gonna just basically add a nice random hit of <laughs> color. And I'm gonna ask ourselves, where does this leave us? Let's just kind of say, let's have the color come in from here and see what happens. Like, do we wanna do something like this? And like the light is just like shining on prevail. That could be, that could be a move, right? And if I wanna keep going with it, I don't have to like just kind of sit and hit a little bit over here, maybe more toward the bottom of the foreground like this. Then we can use a color dodge or like a linear dodge. I'm gonna figure out which one I wanna do though real quick. I'm kind of hearing you guys. I, I really hear you guys. Like it's not the same color, it's not the same thing. Okay. I'll also pretend though, I, I can also try a blue though. I can, we can still kind of go for this blue still. Cause I'm not opposed. I do. I still do like the blue. I'm just gonna figure out a way to kind of bring it in. Maybe something like this. We're gonna of course add a light hit on the back as well. Just just see what happens. I will say the one thing I do agree is I had some photos or I had some of the light and kind of in front. And I do think it looks a lot better, at least for the composition sake and kind of keeping this guy in the foreground. I really do like what you did there. So I'm gonna of course keep that idea. And I really did. Uh, I didn't see it at first, but now I understand why you did that. And I also understood why you kind of did something like this. You kind of have this like, you know, shadow kind of hit right over here. I don't want to hide much of the actual picture, but I do want to kind of add separation there. And I will say that's a pretty good way to do it. I might even say our guy over here can probably be pretty big. Why not? I think this size does make it feel a little bit more just like, you know, godlike or kind of that that larger than life kind of feeling. I will say the color correction I did put did not do my homie justice. So I'm gonna go over here into the color, use a nice little uh, patch tool, just kind of get in here and kind of fix uh, the skin texture a little bit. So with all these rocks now kind of being in front of this light, I'm also curious if I wanna kind of fix the lighting here a little bit and kind of just play with it because I feel it's a little like off now. I'm gonna go over here and use a nice little levels really quick, bring my white side in and kind of play with this lightness and darkness as well. I kind of just, it just feels a little bit off still. And I might go back in with my levels and take a nice little brush and just erase it only because the light is hitting that top, right? And the more exaggerated I make that, it just looks a little bit better. And all these faces got a little bit of more more something going on. This is such an odd color still. It's bothering me. I think that's better, but I, I still don't like it. Maybe I just need a little like a motion blur or something. I hate it. Gaussian blur helps. 
Yeah, give a little Gaussian Blur, why not? I also just put a little Gaussian Blur on, on some of these rocks over here. So like this one, I'll put, I already put a little bit on that one. I'll put a little bit on this one over here. Now he did some, a lot of like motion blurs and light hits. And I want to, of course, do that too. But I just want to make sure before I do that, am I going to move anything else? And this really cool section right here, it has like this light kind of like moving like it's like a like a whole like a flare or something like that and it feels like there should be something like behind there i don't know i kind of enjoy that flare happening too but also whatever blend mode he ended up putting this on also kind of looks like it's like kind of bleeding into the rock let me figure out which blend mode it was oh no it's smoke that makes so much sense i always think about adding smoke but i didn't want to add too much in this thing but he has smoke so i can add some smoke okay we got smoke the smoke would really help fill this space which i really enjoy without it with it without it with i it's like it's day and night but i will take the same smoke asset throw it back over here as well and kind of just make sure that this smoke kind of plays with the background over here too but okay that feels good now it's time to speed art some lights because lord knows you don't want to see this like 40 times making a new layer clip mask it onto it and we're going to go in here take this blue and we're going to start off with the actual rim light and we're going to go over here and i'll see you guys in like 20 seconds Okay, that's the center down. Now it's the rocks. <laughs> okay. See you in like another 10 seconds. Okay, I think I'm done with my lighting. I think it, it, it you know, I, I don't, you know, I'm not the confident, most confident person in the universe, but it's there. I will say though, the background, as much as I love it, and I love the depth of the clouds, I don't enjoy these peaks of light coming through. I think it works in success in the nature that you went with here with this kind of muted, very muted palette, but I wanted to kind of add more contrast to the project. So in my case, it's not, it's not feeling the most best. So I'm gonna choose to go in and kind of find one that makes a little bit more sense for my composition. Two hours later. Yeah, I quit. I quit looking for it. It's not, it's just not gonna, it's not gonna do me justice because I think this one is really good, but maybe the way I have to think of it is taking this one and kind of like painting over where it doesn't work and then try to color match it like this. That to me, boom, makes sense. So now at this point, what I'll end up doing is just kind of like taking this and I know the graphic over here, I think you were going for like a versus. I'll just kind of like put my own little time, like a game day. Now from here though, would I be happy? I would say like somewhat, it's like missing some kind of overlay, just something. What if, okay, hold on. I, I really don't know if this is gonna work, but if I just put this on like a color blend mode. Whoa, I like that look. I'm gonna go in here and just kind of color in where the light is to kind of make the light feel super, super bright. One more last thing, Control Alt Shift E, nice little smart object, go over to filter, blur gallery, and I believe it's iris blur. Now I'm gonna take this and kind of just make sure it's blurred right all around here. I'm gonna make sure the blur area doesn't go too far there. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna take over here, kind of combat this just a little bit. The blur, it's, it's pretty subtle, right? In some areas, but it's, it's really prominent in others. I think it kind of helps mute a lot of the wrongdoings. We'll do one last, one last color blur. One last color correction. Nothing too crazy, because I do enjoy my contrast going on here, but I will kind of darken things up. The shadows bring it up a little bit. The whites for that color tone to pop even more. The saturation of the blue will also play with. Nothing too crazy, a little bit of sharpen. And then do I add noise? Do I do that? Do I add grain? If I press OK and it looks good, we go with it. This is where I'm gonna lock in. This is the final. So if we were to go ahead and compare and kits in my designs, honestly, and kit already started off with a really strong concept with a theory that was very clear, which made it pretty easy for me to kind of take it and try to reinvent it. First thing I want to do, of course, for myself is draw that contrast of the foreground, which is the actual player, the background, which is like the actual sort of like rock formation mountain in the back in like the background obviously and then behind that background is like we'll call it like a subject like a like a point of interest sure we'll just say it like that and then with that that kind of allowed us to separate these different areas and kind of give us that contrast that we're looking for and like the depth wise but also the contrast and color because i feel like everything felt in his other design not flat is not the word really but it's almost like everything had like a white sheet over it you know what i mean with like a lowered opacity but the thing is the light source in this design in my opinion didn't i don't know where it was 
was, and I usually don't care where it was, but the way I try to improve it, so I usually do the same thing, is I wanted to kind of think to myself, is like, hey, if the light is coming from down below, if it's like coming from, you know, a big light down here, and that it's coming this way, where is it gonna hit first? And it's gonna probably hit here, right? here as well and it's not gonna touch over here so that's why i didn't do it but then of course there is this little flap here so it might hit right here right it's gonna probably hit a little bit right here and then you probably saw just a tiny tiny bit right into his hair very very minimally just because i was trying to, i was trying to think where the light was going this time and i felt like it was pretty good all right so anyway let's go to the next one and uh see what we get so our next project is by Meat, and he has his Barcelona UEFA Champions League. I don't watch much soccer, but when I do, I watch the World Cup, because why not? But realistically, he has this really cool design that it's just honestly needs a like a few little touches. Do I want to put this one in? Because the other one was just like, go crazy. This one is just like typography, which is my baby. But I kind of just want to adjust it a little bit, because I think with these struggles that are happening here, it's kind of like this match day kind of being in this on the floor, which is okay. And then there's a way to kind of make it feel a little more interesting and intricate, like having match on the top, then day on the bottom, and then kind of figuring out where this one V or one one kind of goes. I don't know what this is, or is, is this his number? Oh, it's nine. Oh, so it's not number 11. Oh, I just Googled aggregate and we're learning together. It says the combined number of goal, goals scored by two teams over two or more games. So that's goals? What if I'm still wrong? Could you imagine? All right, let's just, we're gonna put the 11 somewhere. That's all I'll say. And then match day, we'll get that, we'll get rid of that. Oh my God, you combined it together. So you had no chance to even fix it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally do that, but that's okay. This is where you got to figure out your font choice. If you did match day with this, right? If I did it just like so, and I made this bigger, whatever, and the what whatever's at the top, this is like your, your usual sans serif. This is actually probably the time you wanna use a compressed font, not condensed compressed let's find me a nice little compress font right come over here that's expanded expanded and then compress bang let's use this one and now look how much real estate this takes but then look how much visual interest happens when you make this bigger this kind of fills the space and does a lot of the work for you so this is your difference between compressed and your usual sans serif like standard you know height weight stretch use compressed for these kind of things just saying this it just makes it more interesting so match come down here go with day and then we'll come over here. We're gonna have to use a nice little convert to smart object. Perspective, boom, something like so. And we're gonna say, okay, that's good. We're gonna lower this opacity down a little bit. Uh, and I guess we could also make this like also pure black, but we'd have to match these and just kind of like add the same gray tones to it instead. Let's do this. Since you already have gray in the background, I'm gonna switch out where your gray is placed. So I'm gonna make this instead white but i'm gonna use like an offset white now with this offset white, i'll take this now new color here and i'll just kind of kind of choose my offset white for a quick second then i'll just kind of scroll down until i find a nice color that works for this now this off white might be a little bit too creamy so i might just kind of take this push it up a little bit so it's a little less uh the championship league and i'd make this nice little subtext font my favorite right now is currently uh, Clash. So I'm gonna use Clash Display. I just do like that. I think that looks pretty good too. I'll do 13 over here and then I'll do 130. And now these really pretty codes I wanna play with. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually bring in, I think this red to make this graphic sing a little bit because it's a little bit too black and white. I think this day, it's, it's doing something, but I think it needs to just be like this. And we need to just somehow bring this perspective in even more. Let's also bring in some of these other logo stuff. So we have this, so we have some more texture to work with, I'll call it. I'll go ahead and take this then, A-G-G-R-E-G-A-T. Now, I don't know how important this word is, but is it weird to do something like this where I kind of have it on the one side and just do like an 11 like so? Does that make sense? Was the one one important was my question. If it isn't, I think over here is pretty decent. I'll kind of keep this right in the middle of this section. So it's kind of like reading somewhat in a line. And now I'll go ahead and I'll make my guy a little bit bigger now because I kind of understand my uh, situation here. So I'm gonna say this is pretty decent. I can move a lot of this stuff up a little bit too. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have to color correct him because this is like very orange. So I wanna take the hue and kind of just find like a nice more like humanish tone of color. And in all reality, I'm gonna make this day a little bit bigger. I think a little bit bigger might make more sense for us because it's kind of like acting as the floor, but you can kind of understand it's match day. You can you don't have to regurgitate everything. And I will go ahead and just take a nice little black, lower my opacity down and start with like hitting this foot just like so. Right, and this will kind of help us ground the foot. Same thing with this one. I'm gonna take another new layer and I'm actually gonna use my shadow brushes. 
Now, I think this foot one might work for this. I'm going to turn it a little bit. Now, I don't know exactly how this shadow should really even look. Like, that one brush hit did help. However, it's definitely not the only thing. And, like, I can just do something like that for this point of the shoe. And, like, is that enough? But then you also want to make sure you kind of hit over here and kind of go this other direction. Like, I'm going to be very honest. I have no idea. I'll hit the top of a graphic with a nice, simple little same color I did on the bottom. Just like a... Nice little gradient hit. And if it's a little bit too much, like I like the white, but if it's a little too much, it just kind of adds a little bit of separation, a little bit of depth in the background. Nothing too crazy, a little bit of interest. I don't want to go any further because that's kind of what our homie did. The moral of this story is using the right typeface. Compress for certain things like this. So if you guys were to, of course, see it put up myself and Meat's project themselves, they're pretty, they're literally the same, the same thing. It's just the typography, a little bit of color just to kind of give the, the color shirt a little bit of pop of color. I think using the purple uh, match day just didn't really make too much sense for like the kit's color and stuff like that. So I want to say red, blue. We also had like maybe like a green could have been used because the Shopify or Spotify logo on the hit. But this to me, it says the same thing, but it's just a type work. So, you know, if you learn something, you learn something. With that being said, that is the end of the video here today. So uh, I love you guys. And you guys let me know if I should continue the redesign series. I want to cover, I wanted to make it a, not a little longer, but just give you guys the same context. It's basically like me creating those sports posters, but this time I'm taking already a really cool concept and making it better. Just kind of the same thing, but you know, it's your guys' projects. So with that, Seso HQ out. You're gonna get a key smile and stay positive and stay a freaking other guys. Later, much love, peace, enjoy your day, and uh, yeah, later.